one of my earliest memories, I must have been about eight years old, is my father teaching me this saying of Gandhi's. In the face of injustice, there are three possible positions. He who fights, he who submits, and he who resists non-violently. My name is Kesan Doma. I am Tibetan. I was born in a refugee camp in southern India. I grew up in Montreal, in Quebec, far away from the high plains of Tibet. Today, thanks to a Canadian passport, I am entering my father's homeland for the first time. You probably know that Tibet was invaded by the Chinese army in 1950. Since then, 1,200,000 unarmed Tibetans have disappeared in labor camps and prisons, have been executed, tortured to death, or have died of starvation. That means one person in five. In 2004, although China has convinced the West it has changed its ways, Tibet no longer appears on maps of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just landed at the Lhasa Airport. Please don't unfasten your seatbelt. Before the plane comes to a complete standstill, please make sure to collect all your belongings before you disembark.
Plaza. Beneath its calm surface, Plaza is still a highly militarized city, cut off from the rest of the world under the very tight control of the Beijing regime. Here, to talk politics in the street can put your safety and that of your family in jeopardy. Here, informing is common practice and well paid. As a result, nobody trusts anybody. <laughs> As you may know, the Dalai Lama, our spiritual and political leader, was forced to seek refuge in India and has never returned to Lhasa. Surrounded by those who followed him into exile and by their descendants, he continues to believe, like Gandhi, that nonviolent resistance is the only acceptable path. Here, China still sees him as a threat to national security. Simply admitting loyalty to him can land you in jail.
Come and the Kurdistan Simshe, and that she imagined our Shinjizo and the Realia. Her call can say the Jongdi, managing the Bully Yang Dossi or not. Her music could she Manazu Yulung, the Lung Sama, Satsama. Down to that civilian, managing the mulling, uh, Tose Chane, any the mulling Yango Yimbos of the Masebe, the Choma Gujini, Manazo Permis Sadi, Manesi, the history and the struggle of 200,000 Tibetan exiles was familiar to me. But the resistance of the 6 million Tibetans inside the country the resistance that helps them to survive the violence from the small everyday acts to the war's atrocities. This was a mystery to me. So the idea came to me to carry a message from the Dalai Lama into Tibet, to break his 50 years of absence, to see for myself what remains of us. Shimin Rajik, 
Sam Tell 
For a long time, hope has not shown its face on this side of the Himalayas. For a long time, the vital signs of our nation have been hanging by a thread. Prayer flags carry the only messages that escape the biggest prison in the world. For a long time, people have performed the rituals without expecting anything in return. Shimmy 
There is a belief here that we lost our country because we did not pray enough. People strive to remain patient, to cast out their anger in the hope that the Dalai Lama will return. Having grown up in the West, sometimes I think that in fact we lost our country because all we did was pray. I am afraid that in the end, time will work against us, that history will remember our fragile resistance as nothing more than submission.
then you touch your chair, somewhere you should get away. When you touch your chair, you should get away. When you touch your chair, you should get away. When you touch your chair, you should get away. When you touch your chair, you should get away. When you touch your chair, you should get away. When you touch your chair, ただしゅくやがまず別に違うからだ。だ、ティーバーまで立つ違うで。まず日本人。え、ちゃんと並んでるのよ、インドネシアに。じゃ、メディナロニーね。だ、あれにしゃんなしで。だ、アンダランドチ
Foundations of Buddhism is the idea that the life which flows through us is a force that will continue beyond us, that our actions extend through the world to infinity. There is the idea that in every incarnation we share the responsibility of all towards all. Fourth November 1950, it is with deepest regret that I am informing you that the act of aggression by Chinese forces has not terminated. Stop. On contrary, since their violation of the territorial integrity of Tibet, the Chinese force have adopted cruel and inhuman measures for the purpose of sterilizing Tibetan men and women with the view to the total extermination of the Tibetan race, stop. There have been many cases of murder of leading citizens of Tibet without any cause or justification, stop. Life and, life and property are no longer safe, and Lhasa, the capital of the state, is now a dead city, stop. The sufferings which my people are undergoing are beyond description and it is imperatively necessary that this wanton and ruthless murder of my people should be immediately brought to an end. Stop. It is in these circumstances that I appeal to you and the United Nations in the confident hope that our appeal will receive the consideration which it deserves. Dalai Lama, November 24, 1950. 
But if we share the responsibility for all, where were we on November 24, 1950? Where were we on March 5, 1988? And where are we today, now? As the regime continues to throw hundreds, even thousands of people into prison, arbitrarily and without trial, simply because of their political views. Jarang Wahwakunchawijayi Purant <laughs> Yagi <laughs> In Lhasa, since the uprisings at the end of the 1980s, 
Beijing has finished tearing down the ancient city around the Putala to make space for a large square that could accommodate tanks in the event of a popular revolt. To date, Beijing has brought in 10 million Chinese settlers and the current rate is equivalent to 1,000 new arrivals per day. Tibetans are now a minority in their own country. Beijing has changed the names of neighborhoods, mountains, rivers. For the past three generations, in schools and in tourist guidebooks, Tibet is no longer Tibet. Tibet is Shizang, a suburb of the motherland.
今のね、そのやつ、私。三十四个月，谢谢。谢谢。看了过年，你看到三百多双，三百个双，三十八个多，看了几多？ リクションマラエチェドマラエティケチュグレシドアコンギリクションスのカレシゴレチェドうんこのメガメシムスムシェセイムカンジョメデシェアスムシェテテソカンサタムショチスルアカリマショチ<笑><笑> ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
Today, everything is up for sale in the land of snows. Gold has been found, silver, some of the world's largest reserves of uranium, even oil has been found. More than half of the ancestral forest in the eastern part of the country has already been destroyed. For China, recently admitted to the World Trade Organization, now a friend of multinational corporations, Tibet has become a gold mine and a garbage dump. In 2003, trade between China and the Western world totaled $780 billion U.S. Thank 
Kristen Kosti Jamson, the Tani, Payo to hate Tunis Jamju, Tomato Nashot. While the world seems busy with other emergencies, China wages an unrelenting war against hope. Now, China is waiting for the Dalai Lama to pass away, and with him, the ties that unite us. I can now imagine who I would have been if my father had chosen to stay in Tibet. I can now imagine why he chose to flee, clinging to the idea that a country can live on outside its own territory. I can now picture, as we sleep, every night, every month, every year, a never-ending stream of families escaping on foot, crossing the world's highest mountains in silence to deliver themselves from evil. Truth to tell, I found here nothing solid on which to base hope. Nothing more than six million bodies and souls under a yoke of suffering. Throughout this half century, the United Nations have been informed very clearly about the genocide going on. In 1999, they ignored the 50th anniversary of the Chinese invasion. I found entire filing cabinets full of accounts, figures and details meticulously translated into every language. I found 50 years of notes on our disappearance, 
carefully preserved at a stable 35 degrees of humidity inside the sealed vaults of an armored building. The messages of nonviolence sent here by three generations of Tibetans have been ignored by the world, have received no response, just a collection of acknowledgments of receipt. Shaken by the indifference of the rest of the world, those in exile have started to doubt, to despair. On April 27, 1998, in New Delhi, India, Thupten Ngudup set fire to himself after a 49-day hunger strike produced no result. Had Gandhi lived until today, perhaps he would have suggested a fourth possible position in the face of injustice. He who looks on, you, you who watch this scene played out again and again, you, the majority of the Earth's inhabitants, you who watch, like me, as the world slides toward certain bankruptcy. I just want you to know that somewhere high in the mountains of Asia, a fragile people continues to believe that there is only one acceptable position. This people has decided to die before your eyes, if it must, rather than give way to violence. I wanted to tell you, in this life, in case the next should be more violent, that at the dawn of the third millennium, we were still believing. Oh, yeah. 